Are you unknowingly putting your health at risk every time you sit down for a meal? Have you ever wondered if the foods you're eating could be silently harming your kidneys? Studies have shown that dietary habits play a significant role in kidney health, with certain foods being linked to an increased risk of kidney issues. Did you know that as many as 7 out of 10 cases of chronic kidney disease can be attributed to poor dietary choices? But fear not, because in this video, we're going to unveil the 7 most dangerous foods you should stop eating immediately to safeguard your kidney health. By eliminating these foods from your diet, you'll not only reduce your risk of kidney problems but also pave the way for a healthier, happier life. Therefore, buckle up and stay tuned until the end of this video, where we'll unveil some eye-opening insights you've never heard before. Let's get started right away. 1. Blackstrap molasses, tomato sauce, and dried fruits. Blackstrap molasses, tomato sauce, and dried fruits are all everyday foods we enjoy without realizing they could impact our kidney health. Though seemingly harmless, these foods can pose significant dangers. Consuming them may even disrupt your heart rhythm. The reason patients with chronic kidney disease, CKD, should steer clear of these foods is due to their high potassium content. Have you ever wondered how blackstrap molasses, also known as Dowden 2 kamia, might affect kidney health? Let's delve into it. Blackstrap molasses, as the name suggests, is a dark, thick, and intensely flavored syrup produced during the sugar cane processing. What makes blackstrap molasses special is its array of essential minerals such as potassium, magnesium, iron, and calcium. However, for those with kidney issues, the potassium content in blackstrap molasses can pose risks. Speaking of potassium, an essential mineral but also a risk if consumed in excess for those with kidney problems, blackstrap molasses can contain up to approximately 146 mg of potassium per tablespoon, 15 milliliters, which is quite significant. For individuals with impaired kidneys, excessive potassium intake can lead to high blood potassium levels, resulting in dangerous complications such as heart palpitations and irregular heartbeats. Next, let's talk about tomato sauce, a staple in many dishes. Although less known, tomato sauce can also affect your kidney health, especially for those with kidney issues. Nutritionally, tomatoes are naturally rich in potassium, with a cup of tomato sauce containing up to 534 mg of potassium. This can be problematic for individuals with kidney disease, as they may struggle to eliminate excess potassium from their bodies. Accumulation of potassium can lead to high blood potassium levels, causing dangerous complications such as unstable heart rhythms and seizures. Now, let's discuss dried fruits. Dried fruits may seem harmless. However, choices like dried apricots, raisins, and prunes can be dangerous, especially for those in stage 4 of CKD. Even with normal potassium levels, dried fruits still contain high concentrations of potassium. For example, dried apricots can contain around 850 mg of potassium per 100 gram serving. That's equivalent to consuming 5 bananas in one sitting. Unless your potassium levels are low, regularly indulging in dried fruits can be hazardous. So, don't write off bananas unless your potassium levels are already elevated. Exercise caution with blackstrap molasses, tomato sauce, and dried fruits. If you find this information valuable, share it with a friend and give the video a thumbs up to help spread awareness. Next up, let's delve into a vegetable with hidden dangers surpassing even potassium levels. 2. Legumes Have you ever wondered how something as humble as legumes could hold the key to kidney health? Legumes, including beans, lentils, and chickpeas, are not just pantry staples, they're powerhouse foods packed with protein, fiber, and an array of essential nutrients. However, for individuals with kidney issues, navigating the nutritional landscape of legumes is crucial due to their potassium content. For instance, 
a cup of cooked kidney beans contains approximately 717 mg of potassium, while the same serving of cooked lentils provides around 731 mg. The challenge lies in balancing the benefits of legumes with their potassium content. While potassium is essential for various bodily functions, too much of it can lead to hyperkalemia, a condition characterized by high levels of potassium in the blood. This can pose serious risks, especially for individuals with chronic kidney disease, as their kidneys may struggle to regulate potassium levels efficiently. Despite their nutritional value, individuals with kidney issues need to be mindful of their legume intake. For example, incorporating smaller portions of low-potassium legumes like green beans or split peas into meals can still provide the benefits of protein and fiber without overloading on potassium. Up next, a food that can be even more dangerous if eaten in too high amounts. 3. Nuts You know, nuts are packed with protein, but it's important to keep an eye on how much you munch on them. Surprisingly, nuts can actually pose more of a risk than legumes when it comes to potential dangers. Why? Well, aside from being protein powerhouses, nuts are also calorie bombs. This can spell trouble, especially for folks with diabetes or those trying to shed some pounds. But just how calorie-packed are nuts, really? Let's put it into perspective. Picture this. 200 calories of mixed nuts versus 200 calories of apples. Same number of calories, but the amount of food you get is vastly different. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you should give nuts the cold shoulder altogether, not even if you're trying to slim down. Nuts can actually be super good for you, much like legumes. Take walnuts, for instance, they're chock full of omega-3s those essential fatty acids that can be a bit elusive in certain diets. Then there are almonds, loaded with magnesium, which can help keep your blood pressure in check. Peanuts? They're bursting with antioxidants. And Brazil nuts? They've got selenium, a mineral that's like a shield for your kidneys. But here's the thing, nuts are pretty dense in calories, so it's all about moderation. Keeping your nut intake in check can really make a difference, especially if you're aiming to steer clear of kidney troubles. Trust me, it's a small adjustment that could have a big impact on your health, just like avoiding what's up next on our list. 4. Canned Veggies Let's have a chat about canned veggies, shall we? Now, sodium, it's a bit of a troublemaker, especially when it comes to your health. You see, too much sodium in your diet can really mess things up, causing issues like high blood pressure, heart problems, and even kidney disease. The thing is, salt on its own isn't the villain here. You only need a tiny bit of it, like 1.5 grams a day, no more. And hey, I know you folks tuning in right now are already doing your best to steer clear of excess salt. But here's the kicker, it's not you. It's the sneaky marketing tactics at play. Believe it or not, a whopping majority of those supposedly healthy packaged foods are actually loaded with stuff like fat, sodium, and sugar. Yeah, it's easy to get hoodwinked by all those fancy labels and claims. But don't let yourself fall into that trap, your kidneys are counting on you. Now, let's talk canned veggies. They're kind of like sodium magnets because salt is often used to keep them fresh. Take canned peas, for example. A measly half cup serving can pack in around 310 milligrams of sodium. But here's a tip to keep the danger at bay. Give those canned goods a good rinse, or better yet, scout out brands that offer low sodium options. So, be vigilant, always give those labels a once over, and give your canned veggies a good rinse before digging in. Your kidneys will thank you for it. Our fifth culprit is particularly concerning as it could potentially expose you to toxins precisely when you're consuming nutritious foods. This hazard is so severe that it could elevate the risk of developing CKD by as much as 25%. 5. Dirty Dozen Now, 
I can't skip mentioning these veggies when we're talking about potential risks to our kidneys. They're like the hidden villains lurking in our grocery aisles, especially for those dealing with CKD. But what exactly makes them so darn dangerous? So, there's this group called the Environmental Working Group they're on a mission to uncover the not-so-healthy stuff lurking in our food, especially when it comes to farming practices. They've put together the Dirty Dozen list after a ton of testing and digging. These are the fruits and veggies they found to be loaded with all sorts of yucky stuff, like toxic chemicals, pesticides, and fungicides. Stuff that really shouldn't be hanging around on our produce, but somehow still manages to stick around, even in 2024. Crazy, right? They've even found banned pesticides from decades ago, like DDT, still chilling in the soil. So, who's on the dirty dozen list this year? Brace yourselves, strawberries, spinach, kale, collard and mustard greens, peaches, pears, nectarines, apples, grapes, bell and hot peppers, cherries, blueberries, and green beans. But here's the kicker, should you kick these healthy foods to the curb? Nah, not necessarily. Don't go tossing out your kale and apples just yet. There are smarter ways to handle this situation. First off, give your produce a good scrubbing. Try a water and baking soda bath. Give those fruits a good rub if you're eating the peel and rinse everything really well. Then, pat everything dry with a clean cloth. And hey, if you can swing it, consider splurging on organic options, especially for the foods on this list. It's a small step that could make a big difference for your health. 6. Vegetable Oils Let's chat about frying with vegetable oils, folks. Now, these oils come with a couple of red flags. First off, like nuts, oil packs a serious caloric punch. In fact, oils are one of the most calorie-dense foods out there. It's a bit hard to visualize, so let me paint you a picture. Imagine 200 calories from apples compared to 200 calories from canola oil. The amount of oil in that little glass is so tiny, you'd need a magnifying glass to spot it, yet it packs the same caloric wallop as munching on two medium-sized apples. Crazy, right? So, oils are seriously calorie-packed, and it's something to keep in mind, especially if you're managing diabetes or trying to shed some pounds. But hey, for folks with advanced kidney disease who struggle to maintain weight, olive oil can be a lifesaver. A drizzle of olive oil here and there can sneak in extra calories without you even noticing. Now, here's the kicker, most people use oils for frying, and that's where things get dicey. See, frying foods can wreak havoc on your kidneys. Fried foods are loaded with saturated and even worse, trans fats. These fats have a bad rep for jacking up your cholesterol levels, clogging up your arteries, and causing all sorts of trouble for your heart and kidneys. So, let's make a pact, okay? Promise me you'll steer clear of frying your foods. Your kidneys will thank you for it. 7. Fruit Juice Ever wondered about the real deal with fruit juice? It's often hailed as a healthy choice, especially for kids, but is it really as innocent as it seems? Let's peel back the label and take a closer look. See, here's the thing, fruit juice might seem like a wholesome sip, but it's actually one of the sneakiest culprits in our battle against obesity. Those crafty food companies have been pushing fruit juice as a healthy option, but the truth is, it's packed with sugar. I'm talking up to 30 grams, or 8 teaspoons, of sugar in just a single cup, or 250 milliliters, of juice. That's a whole lot of sweetness flooding into your bloodstream, causing your insulin levels to skyrocket in no time. And here's the kicker, all that added sugar isn't just a one-way ticket to diabetes, it's also linked to a laundry list of other health woes, like high blood pressure, inflammation, and heart disease. So, yeah, steering clear of fruit juice is a smart move for your overall well-being. But hold on to your hats, folks because there's something even worse lurking in the shadows. 
ready to find out what it is. And folks, if you're interested in learning more about foods high in oxalates and ways to minimize the risk, I've compiled a list in the video description section, be sure to check it out. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Blessings to you all.